Have you ever wondered how astronauts will live on the moon? How will they traverse the lunar surface, conduct experiments, and survive in this harsh environment? Well, think no more. Picture a camper van not cruising down the highway, but navigating the craters and mountains of the lunar landscape. NASA and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, have teamed up to make this a reality. They're not just creating a vehicle, but a mobile home, with all the comforts needed for survival on the moon. It's not just about getting around. The moon's environment is extreme, with temperatures that can swing hundreds of degrees between day and night. And let's not forget the moon's gravity, which is only one-sixth of Earth's. This presents unique challenges for human survival and exploration. Astronauts need a safe, pressurized environment not only to live in but to travel in too. Enter the Lunar Camper Van, a project that's as much about survival as it is about exploration. This isn't your average RV though, it's a pressurized vehicle designed for two, powered by a hydrogen fuel cell and supplemented by solar panels. It's not just a means of transport, but a mobile outpost where astronauts can live and work for up to 30 days without needing to suit up. This vehicle, measuring 19.7 by 17.1 by 12.5 feet, is expected to have a range of 6,200 miles. That's enough to explore the south polar region of the moon, where scientists believe there may be water ice. Yes, this camper van is designed for long hauls and extended stays. As we stand at the dawn of a new era of space exploration, this lunar camper van represents a significant step towards establishing a permanent human presence on the moon. It's a testament to international cooperation and technological innovation, and it's going to change the way we explore the lunar surface making it a little more like a home away from home. But how did this moon camper van project come to be? What led to this unique collaboration between NASA and JAXA? Let's trace back to the origin of this fascinating partnership. It all started with an agreement, signed between two key figures, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson and Japan's Minister of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, Masahito Moriyama. The signing took place at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. on the 9th of April, 2024, a day that marked the birth of a unique collaboration, setting the stage for an exciting chapter in space exploration. So, what does this agreement entail? Well, it's a symbiosis of resources and expertise. JAXA, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, has taken on the task of providing the vehicle, a pressurized lunar camper van if you will. This vehicle, designed in collaboration with Toyota, is intended to serve as a mobile outpost for astronauts on lunar missions. It's a home away from home where astronauts can live and work for up to 30 days in a shirt-sleeve environment. On the other side of the equation, we have NASA. The American Space Agency will be responsible for transporting this unique vehicle to the moon. This will be part of the Artemis 7 mission, scheduled for 2031. Once on site, this lunar camper van is designed to operate for a whopping 10 years. But there's more. The agreement also paves the way for an exciting first. The first Japanese astronaut to travel to the Gateway's lunar outpost. And even more thrilling, two more Japanese astronauts will be the first non-American astronauts to set foot on the moon on a NASA mission. This collaboration between NASA and JAXA, therefore, represents far more than just a unique lunar vehicle. It's about shared goals, mutual respect, and international cooperation. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible and bringing different nations together in the spirit of discovery and exploration. This agreement signifies a remarkable example of international cooperation in the quest to explore the moon. So, what makes this moon camper van so special? What sets it apart from other lunar vehicles? Well, imagine a home on wheels, but not just any home and certainly not on any ordinary wheels. This is a pressurized mobile outpost designed by the clever minds at JAXA and Toyota for the unforgiving lunar landscape. It's where astronauts can live, work, and traverse the moon in comfort without the need for cumbersome spacesuits. Yes, you heard that right. This camper van creates a shirt-sleeve environment a cozy bubble of Earth-like conditions amidst the moon's harsh reality. Now let's talk dimensions. This lunar camper van is roughly 19.7 feet long, 17.1 feet wide, and 12.5 feet tall. That's a lot of room for a home that also needs to be a science lab, a kitchen, and a garage for the lunar terrain. But what fuels this extraordinary mobile outpost? A combination of hydrogen fuel cells and solar power. The hydrogen fuel cells provide the primary source of power, while the solar panels supplement and may even recycle wastewater by converting it back into hydrogen and oxygen for power. This isn't just a vehicle, it's a lesson in sustainable living. 
and if you're wondering about its capabilities, this camper van boasts an impressive range. It's estimated to cover up to 6,200 miles, or about 10,000 kilometers. That's enough to explore vast regions of the moon, including the intriguing South Polar region. This lunar camper van is more than just a vehicle. It's a symbol of human ingenuity and our unquenchable thirst for exploration. It encapsulates our ambitions to establish a sustainable presence on the moon and serves as a stepping stone towards even more ambitious space exploration goals. The moon camper van indeed is a game changer, promising to revolutionize lunar exploration. With this moon camper van, we're not just looking at a vehicle, we're looking at the future of lunar exploration. Imagine a world where humans not only visit the moon, but establish a sustainable presence there. This is no longer the stuff of science fiction. The moon camper van, courtesy of JAXA and Toyota, is a giant leap towards making this a reality. It's more than a vehicle, it's a mobile outpost, a home away from home for astronauts on the lunar surface. Scheduled for deployment in the Artemis 7 mission in 2031, this camper van is not just for joy rides across the lunar landscape. It's a fully equipped, pressurized living and working space that can support a two-person crew for up to 30 days. It's a veritable lunar base on wheels, designed for exploration and discovery. But the camper van isn't just about the hardware. It's also about international collaboration and the shared human ambition to explore the cosmos. For the first time in history, a Japanese astronaut will travel to the Gateway Cislunar Outpost, and that's not all. Two more will be the first non-American astronauts to set foot on the moon on a NASA mission, marking a new chapter in international space exploration. This moon camper van symbolizes a shift in how we approach space travel. No longer are we just visitors, dropping by for a quick visit and then heading home. We're becoming residents, setting up shop and getting comfortable. We're learning how to live and work in an environment so radically different from our own, and that's incredibly exciting. As we venture deeper into the cosmos, projects like the Moon Camper Van open the doors to uncharted territories, promising a future where the Moon is no longer a distant celestial body, but a place we call home. This is more than a new era of lunar exploration. It's a new era of human potential, and the Moon Camper Van is driving us there. As we wrap up, let's take a moment to appreciate the significance of the Moon Camper Van project. A feat of international cooperation and engineering prowess, this initiative marks a crucial stride in space exploration. It's an embodiment of the collaboration between NASA and JAXA, the Japanese space agency, alongside industry giant Toyota. This pressurized lunar vehicle, a home on wheels if you will, not only offers astronauts a mobile outpost for 30-day lunar expeditions, but also symbolizes a new era of lunar exploration. It's a step towards establishing a sustainable human presence on the moon. This project, part of the broader Artemis program, also paves the way for the first Japanese astronauts to set foot on the moon. It's a reminder of how far we've come, and how far we're ready to go, together. As we gaze at the moon tonight, let's remember that it's not just a celestial body, it's the next frontier. And thanks to projects like the Moon Camper Van, it's a frontier we're ready to conquer.